If you're going to run down a list of the most vilified basketball figures in San Antonio, I bet this guy's name would come up as a first ballot Hall of Famer. This was the guy who single-handedly ruined the Spurs' chances in winning the championship some few years back, and all it took was a little of a quote-unquote accident. Julie getting up. Again, that's, that's what... Well, if you're going to ask Coach Pop about that accident, let's say the old man was not a happy camper. Lead with your foot closed out is not appropriate. Anyway, we aren't here today to judge Zaza Pachulia, but instead we're here to know more about one of the most controversial big men in NBA history. The young Zaza was born in the heart of Tbilisi, Georgia. When he was five years old, Zaza witnessed and experienced a harsh reality as his home country engaged in a war against Soviet Russia to gain its independence. Sounds of gunshots were heard around the clock and tanks barreled through the daily demonstration. Zaza grew up in an athletic household with his father David being a former Soviet judo champion and his mom Marina being a power forward who played for Soviet's women's basketball squad. As a result, there wasn't the slightest doubt that Zaza would follow his parents' footsteps as an athlete in the future. But the question posted at the time was, which path was he going to take? To become a judo practitioner like his dad or become a basketball player like his mother? Well, to convince the young Zaza of which career he should take, his mother pulled out two pictures and showed them to him. The first photo was a group of chiseled, handsome, tall men playing hoops, while the other photo depicts a wrestler who's got cauliflower ear. After the two photos were shown to him by his mom, it was a no-brainer. He recalled this moment and jokingly talked about it later in an interview. In his own words, she won the battle. It was so easy. It took her like three or four minutes. When he was just 14 years old in 1998, Zaza had an exponential growth spurt that made him six foot six at the time. As a towering young kid, Zaza caught the attention of basketball scouts and in particularly, some scouts from ball clubs in Turkey. After killing the tryouts with the Turkish scouts, an assistant general manager from Olker Sports, one of the top basketball teams in Turkey, took interest in Zaza and offered him a contract to join their junior team with all expenses paid from his school fee, including daily allowance. Though his parents were elated with that contract offer, they knew it would be hard for the then 14-year-old Zaza to live in Rome around the streets of Istanbul alone. Realizing that this could be Zaza's stepping stone to the NBA, his father quit his job as a bus driver to accompany his son and moved him to Istanbul to pursue their shared NBA dream. Zaur Pachulia. Zaza, you want to say che riceve lavoro contro Van den Spiegel, sportellate fra i due chilometro. His Turkish ball club instantly fell in love with him as he brought a certain type of grit and toughness down in the block, which would eventually become his calling card when he got to the NBA. But when things started to look good for Zaza's basketball journey, a tragic reroute would place his basketball dreams in limbo. After returning to Georgia during the summer break of his playing season in Turkey, his dad went for a routine doctor's checkup in a local hospital. But little did Zaza and his mother know that this would be David's last visit to anywhere. While walking upstairs to visit his cardiologist on the third floor of the hospital, David suffered a heart attack. His cardiologist found David gasping for air in the stairwell, but it was all too late. His father, David Pachula, died seven months shy of his 40th birthday. Pachula was set to return to Turkey after the summer break, but after losing one of his parents, Zaza knew he couldn't afford to lose the other one. He stayed a couple of weeks back in Georgia to be with his mother and took care of her, and at this point, he was about to call it quits when it came to basketball, but his mother insisted that he should go on and pursue his NBA dream. I was willing to give up my dream to help her get through that tough time, but she wasn't willing to let me. Recognizing the tough situation that he was in, his ball club wanted to keep their top prospect at all costs. To help with the financial burden of Zaza's situation, they bumped up his salary so that he and his mom would be taken care of. When that was settled, his mom gave up her pediatric practice and accompanied her son to move to Istanbul, just like what her late husband did. On the basketball court, Zaza played his heart out for his dad and he established himself as the premier enforcer of his ball club senior team. 
Despite not producing eye-popping numbers, his intimidating presence on the court and his high basketball IQ was more than enough to turn the heads of NBA scouts. So in 2003, the Orlando Magic selected Zaza as the 42nd overall pick, placing ahead of Mo Williams, James Jones, and Kyle Korver. As a rookie, Zaza struggled to find minutes on the floor and only averaged 3.3 points and 2.9 rebounds while playing under 12 minutes of ball game. After playing for the Bucks for one season and in his second year, Pachulia signed with the Hawks in 2005, and in his first two years with the team, Zaza notched double figures in scoring while logging career high in minutes. Jimmy me. <laughs> Zaza! Oh my goodness, for the now, we all know that Zaza has a long history of getting chippy with other players, and I believe this all began with his stint in Atlanta. Anyway, moving on. After seven seasons with the Hawks, Zaza returned to Milwaukee for two years before he headed to Dallas for one season. Johnson didn't see Pachulia coming. One on none. Now Zaza. In on Gobert. Oh! oh. But aside from playing for these teams, the crowning glory of his basketball career was when he signed with the Warriors during the back-to-back -back championship era from 2016 to 2018. Can't get it the father, Zaza. Fighting hard inside, staying with the play. And they don't have anybody that can go at Curry. Steve Kerr was a big fan of Zaza's game during his stay with the Dubs, and he had this to say when a reporter asked what Zaza brings to the table. Zaza's such a great player for us. He's just smart, and he sets great screens. He gets to the right spots, and when you've got all those players around you who are so good offensively, you're going to have some openings. We all know that Zaza isn't your typical NBA player because of the way he moves and behaves inside the court. But Zaza has accomplished way more than other players in the league, like winning two championships, and in addition, he alone was able to single-handedly force the NBA to revise some of its rules, which was later credited to his name. You don't know what I'm talking about? Well, here, allow me to refresh your memory. During the 2017 season, the Dubs fielded four players in the All-Star game for being the top-seeded team in the West. Meanwhile, Zaza was the only member of the dub starting five that was left out since he didn't produce the same numbers like the other four. But lo and behold, the fans started to vote for Zaza and he actually got more votes than some of the popular centers at the time like Mark Gasol, Anthony Davis, and DeMarcus Cousins. To prevent an embarrassing outcome, the league had to institute the Zaza rule, which counted player and media votes in the selection process. Anyway, after playing for the Dubs during their two championship seasons, Pachulia signed a one-year contract with the Pistons where he averaged 3.9 points and 3.9 rebounds before hanging up his sneakers for good in 2019. Though Pachulia is not around the court anymore, he is still working behind the scenes, as he was hired as a front office consultant by the Dubs in 2019. Zaza might be known throughout the league's history as a dirty guy who just served as a muscle guy for the team that he played for, but for me, I think the things that he went through in life, like the war when he was a child and the unexpected death of his father, have channeled through his on-court persona of being tough and gritty. Beyond that, Pachulia was also a smart and unselfish player who can give you quality minutes whether as a starter or coming off the bench to give the main guys a breather when needed. Anyway guys, moving on here, do you all know who else is a smart and unselfish player with the Warriors? Draymond Green, of course. He just might be the best defender in NBA history. I mean, he self-proclaimed it to the media, and he lives by his words on the court. What do I mean? Well, you can see for yourself in this video right here. I don't want to give away too much of it, so just watch the video. Trust me when I say this is one you don't want to miss. Anyway, click the video, guys, and like always, I'll see you on the other side.